in this uh, video tutorial we will see uh, more about this control structure that's switch okay actually switch replaces uh, multiple if else okay so if you have many options and uh, you want to choose one of the based on the user's input we will use switch so the general syntax of switch is switch flags value okay value part one body one part part two body two so on so on and default okay so this is the general syntax of this switch here so here actually we have this flag switch you know what is this switch which is a command a control command okay this flag we will see what's this flag flags can be exact first exact okay second it can be below okay third it can be regular expression fourth it can be no play okay so this is these are this uh, flags actually this exact matches the value of exactly to one of the pattern global globe uses the globe okay and the regular expression uh, executes this expression and uh, no flag means end of the flag okay so uh, the switch the example in following example uh, i'm not considering any flag this uh, exact is default by default uh, a pattern matching is uh, by default uh, uh, this uses if we don't use this exact it is uh, you know exactly uh, default option in this here okay so now uh, before i do a program in switch i just uh, this time i will use uh, a text editor okay this text editor and uh, i will write a program in this text editor like you do in java you write in notepad and then through command prompt you call that okay so i will use this text uh, editor and i will uh, write a program in here okay so set set text okay first i will uh, name this <coughs> this is example let's name this example dot tc l okay this is by the way in desktop yeah. so set mm, set x set uh, let's write puts enter the value from 1 to 4 okay this is string okay this will be this will be uh, uh, this will be read by a user read by a user okay then I will use this set x set x okay here I will use gets okay gets standard in so what will happen here this uh, this is actually uh, this is the method by which uh, user enters the number okay so remember this gets standard in like uh, I have already used it standard out now I am using this uh, standard n okay then after that i will use switch s w i t c h switch okay okay so here i will use this value at x okay then i will uh, uh, use curly braces you see the syntax of this okay so this is the case one okay this is the case one uh, then uh, 
actually I have already uh, before written it as part one. Okay, this is case one. Case one uh, is like uh, if the user uh, gives us one value. Okay, if the user inputs one, so we will just here uh, put a string to the user that you have entered one puts uh, you enter your option your option is one okay so this is it. then close it okay so now next next option is two okay case two two okay puts puts you have if the option is if the user enter number two your option option is two okay then close it okay then if it is three then we will write so on okay puts Okay. The option is four. Oops. The option is four. Okay, I will close close this. Now, if user enters anything else, I will use default. Okay, default puts net uh, not a value option option okay. So this and then we will close this okay. So from command prompt uh, what I will do I will just first clear this okay then exit then uh, I will change this uh, I have uh, kept the file in desktop so I will use cd command to uh, enter into desktop dsk desktop ok then I list command ok then I have actually uh, used this example ok this is here example dot this is my why what I will use I will use this Uh, NS, this is I have an uh, installer already NS example example dot tc L, okay enter the value from 1 to 4 okay I will add 2 so your option is 2 I will run again this uh, I will enter this time 1 then your option is 1 I will enter this time F okay F command not found okay so this is the general uh, syntax of this switch and uh, you can use uh, as uh, these characters okay i have just used these integer values okay in the next class we will see while till then bye